Hewlett Packard reports earnings next week. I'm here with Jim Kramer, and this is the key item he'll be watching next yes. week. Now, Jim, you were at Dreamforce recently, right. where HP and Salesforce announced that new partnership. Mm -hmm. How significant of a step is this from HP distancing itself from PCs and printers? Well, I think that what's happening is you're absolutely right. They're, they're, Hewlett Packard is becoming more than just a client server company. Uh, you, it's, Salesforce has been in there for months trying to reorganize the company with Meg Whitman. And I think it's going well. I think it's going better than people think. I think that Hewlett Packard's doing a lot of things that are right. Obviously, they're very challenged because they are PCs. Intel talking sub rosa that maybe PCs have bottomed. Uh, uh, Hewlett Packard going back in the tablet market. I, just Hewlett Packard's cheap. It's cheap. And I think that the downside is not that significant. And the upside can be significant. So it could be another Dow stock that could take us to 17,000. Really? Yeah. Okay, so after the company last reported earnings, though, I think that you had said that Xerox would be a preferable pick yeah, to they, you at that well, point. They, Is that still the case? They didn't deliver. Um, I, I still, I mean, I think that the issue with Hewlett had been. Uh, I need to see some embrace. The Salesforce One initiative is to put printers everywhere and then have, an, you know, have a secured site where you go and then you can go pick up your papers. You know, it's an interesting idea. It's, it's, an in, it's just incremental. Um, it's funny because, like, you know, the Hewlett Packard could have been 3D printers. Can you imagine those right. are all so hot? Right. Uh, but I just think Hewlett's got a lot more things going for it. I think Meg Whitman's making a turnaround. Yeah, you, you spoke with Meg Whitman I, about that proud. turnaround after the company last year. I'm a believer earnings. in what Meg's doing. I just, secularly, it's obviously still a, a not as good a place. It's just a, a, a place that does cloud, uh, that does mobile, that does social. And, and Hewlett needs to do those in order to be able to become more than just a uh, turnaround. Do you think we'll see the impacts of that turnaround story anytime in, say, 2014? I, or are we looking at yeah, that? Yeah, that? that would be my time frame, Brittany. I think 2014. Okay, That's great. exactly my time frame. All right, perfect. Thanks Thank so you. much. That's Jim Kramer. I'm Brittany Umar for The Street.